Uh oh, that that's not good. That's not good. It is not lifting. Oh no! Well, that's about how I thought take one was gonna go. Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys hey, another episode of Stormworks Build and Rescue. And yes, folks, we are back once again. And today we are back finally with a build episode. So today is going to be a little bit different. We're not building something that actually goes on the water. Today, Komodo is going to attempt to build a plane. And oh dear, I hope we can actually do this. So I've never built a plane before. I can't imagine it being too much different as far as the engine uh, from the boat. So we're going to start there. I think it's going to be a single seat plane, probably not enclosed because I just want to prove that I can get off the ground and then maybe in future build episodes we can uh, build something a little bit more advanced. Also, by the way, if you have any suggestions for future builds, let me know down in the comment section below. And if you're enjoying the build episodes on the channel, maybe hit the thumbs up button, it helps out my channel. And let's jump into the editor. Alright, so here we are in the editor. So recently Stormworks has updated and they've added more seats. So you have like a racing seat and a compact pilot seat. Uh, that actually sounds like probably what we need because it's not going to be a big aircraft. So we'll grab that. There should be an airplane motor. There it is. Or it's medium engine, I believe. Uh, is that what we want to use? Or is there a different engine here? Got to make sure I stick the right thing in here. Yeah, it's definitely going to be this medium engine. So we need that. We need our basic pipes. Uh, I'm assuming same setup, uh, radiator, all that. And we might need a generator. Either that or I could put a big enough battery that it's not going to matter. And then for fuel, I know we need a fuel tank. Hmm, how do we want to do this with the fuel? Uh, I think we're going to put probably a medium tank, maybe a large one if we can fit it on there. I don't think we'll have to build a custom fuel area for it. Uh, maybe on a future build, but I want to keep it pretty simple here. And then I guess the last thing we need is the blocks, and we should be good to go here. Alright, so I think I want this plane to be red and black, so let's go ahead and build a base for it here. I don't know how big this is going to be. I kind of picture doing something like a biplane or something. That would be kind of cool. Hold on, let's fill in this gap here. Let's go ahead and put the seat down. So this is a compact pilot seat. So I'm assuming this is smaller than the normal one. So we'll stick it. Actually, let's go ahead and make it black. So we'll stick it maybe here. All right, so we've got that. The engine's going to be in the front here. Uh, fuel tank's in the back. Oh, boy. Okay, so let's go ahead and stick down maybe a fuel tank. Actually, let's see. Can we fit the large? Uh, the large might be a bit too big. All right, so medium tank will go here. Okay, so we need to go ahead and stick our engine down. Let's go ahead and switch back to red blocks here. All right, let's go with let's go with here. Does that seem like it's too far out? No, I think that's actually pretty good. All right, so we've got that. Let's go ahead and hook the engine up and everything. So we need a radiator. We need oh battery. Uh, battery I guess is gonna go in the back. We'll probably stick the radiator probably here in the front. I think we need to. Uh, Let's go ahead. Actually, let's flip this. All right, so we'll keep the pipes nice and low. So we'll go maybe about right here with that. Uh, exhaust is going to need to come out here too. So radiator, always uh, make those blue. Is that engine even centered? No, no, it's actually good. All right, that's uh, it's great. So let's go ahead and hook up our radiator here in the front. You know, it, the engine is not the concern. The concern is the flying. Like, I've never made something fly in this game, and I know the flying can be a little weird at times. Hold on, this is exhaust, right? Okay, this is exhaust. So, let's go ahead. We're going to send our exhaust back, maybe one pipe, and we're going to curve it around and probably just blow it out the side. I think I either need to put a, a port on here or maybe something else. Hold on, let's just turn it. I'm going to wrap it around the radiator and then turn it out. Uh, actually, it's not even near the radiator. Uh, we'll probably just turn it here. There we go. And then we need uh, air and then the power. Actually, I think this is going to be fuel and the air is going to be in the front, which that'll be pretty easy. Okay, so we need to find a way to link the fuel down. So maybe I can go... I can't go over the pilot. I can go down under the floor because I'm pretty sure the floor is going to be a little bit bigger. So let's go ahead and get this hooked up too. All right, so fuel is hooked up. I've got the pipe under here. We'll block those off too. So that'll be good. And we need air here. So let's go ahead and change pipe color once more. And then we'll probably have like a 
maybe kind of make like a grill. I'm kind of thinking like a World War II style fighters as far as the, somewhat of the looks. I wouldn't say it's going to be exactly like that. It's probably going to be a little bit smaller, but uh, I think that will work. So let's go ahead and get a fluid port here. And then I need, I guess I need to actually put exhaust. I could use more fluid ports for exhaust, but I want something that uh, actually uh, pokes out. That would be kind of cool. Uh, let's see, we have a fluid exhaust here. I guess I need to go ahead and stick that. I wonder if I could have connected that directly to the engine. Very possible I could have. All right, let's go ahead and make this uh, kind of a grill color and then stick that there. So that's going to be your air going into the engine. And then we need our little ports. I guess exhaust could just flow out of the uh, pipes, right? I think it can. Maybe we'll just leave it like that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and make walls here. I don't think I'm going to put a generator on this because I don't think we'll be in the air long enough to justify it. Uh, we're not going to have a bunch of lights or anything on this. So let's keep the bottom black. We'll put a wedge piece under there, and then we're going to change to red up here. So we'll have our exhaust hanging out the side. I hope those will work. I might have to put some sort of port or something on that, but I think for right now it's going to be good. And then we'll do like a little ring here around the front prop. Uh, so let's go ahead. Let's get that. I need to go ahead and get a battery too. That way we have a basic working engine. I think I can fit a medium battery there. And then we need an airplane propeller. So let's go ahead and grab that. All right. So in theory, I can just stick this on here. And then that works. Uh, I don't think the air is blocked or anything. So that should be good there. Ooh, I need to think about wheels too. That's going to be a thing. Uh, battery, do you want to stick it here? Ooh, that's actually kind of big. Maybe we should go with the small one. No, we could stack it up here. We'll just stack it up on the fuel tank. So we'll get that, and then we should be able to get a wall right behind this. There we go. All right, well, it's starting to come together here. We'll probably have to go on several test flights to figure out if this thing actually works or not, but still, it's a thing. All right, so we've got the basic cockpit, I think, about finished here. So it's just simply going to need to push start the engine, uh, you should be good to go there. We'll have a couple dials up here for battery and probably engine temp. Uh, but I don't think we really need too much more, at least for this basic model. Actually, I feel like this is a little too short right here. It's going to add a little bit here. We'll probably put maybe a ladder piece here. Actually, I guess it depends on where the wings and how that's going to look. All right, so another thing I want to do, I'm going to go ahead and add a couple wedge pieces up here. Uh, let's go ahead and go like here and I should probably put symmetry on uh, Then we'll go ahead and cover this there we go All right, so we have this going to turn symmetry back on I need a little windscreen and I think I'll be okay up here uh, For the most part. I don't want to completely enclose it yet Okay, you know what? Let's go ahead and spawn this in now. Let's just see can I get the engine to start? All right, this seems like it would be a little dangerous, but it's fine so push button, yep, seems to start, and then I would just be able to give it some uh, uh, throttle through a sticky key on the actual seat itself, which should be good. I don't know what it's doing right now, It's uh, it's got a mind of its own, but all right, so we have the basic engine out of the way. Now it's to the rest of the plane, you know, the stuff where it actually flies. Oh boy. All right, so if I were to do a wing, would I make it red? I guess we would. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead. These are going to be some rough wings to begin with. We'll go ahead and just stick those two planes out. I don't know how big this actually needs to be. Uh, maybe something like that and we could start to cut into it. Uh, I think it's going to run maybe a couple more blocks also. So something maybe like that. And we can kind of cut in a little bit. Hmm. I don't know if I like that or not. Uh, we're gonna definitely need some wedge pieces here. So let's go ahead and skim a little bit of this See if we can make it look a little bit better here. So if we did something like that Would that be okay? Or actually, maybe we should get rid of the top layer And there's gonna be a lot of figuring out that I need to do with this I uh, do keep in mind like I said, this is the first time that I've actually uh, built one of these or attempted to so the first draft is gonna probably be pretty rough I'd imagine so yeah, that looks like it might be okay. And if I added like a little wedge piece up here, make it look like it's a little bit more connected, that would be decent-ish, I would say. Uh, we'll probably have to adjust on them. Now, we will have to cut into these and actually put some controls. Uh, what if I was to also put like a wedge piece like that? That way it looks like it goes up the wing. That's kind of cool. I kind of feel like these might be a bit too small. Maybe we'll add a couple more blocks. 
All right, so I'm working on this tell section and I'm not 100% happy with this. I kind of wish uh, Stoneworks had some different shaped wedges. Maybe uh, instead of just a one by one wedge, we have like a two by one. That way I can make this gr more gradual as far as its fall off. So yeah, I'm not 100% happy with this. Uh, I'll have to see. I don't know, maybe it'll be okay. But yeah, I need to go ahead and start to make the back here. So let's go ahead and make this come out. Does that look like it's long enough? You know, I think that's long enough for our craft. Uh, it might not be too spec, uh, even though this isn't really 100% based off of something. So let's go ahead and build up this uh, uh, tail here. Uh, you know, let's come out one more here. So let's go something like that, that, and... I guess, no, let's do one more, something like this. I think that'll work, and then I'll cut that back piece off, and then we'll start to go down, which I think is gonna be pretty good. So we'll cut here, and then we'll add our wedge pieces like this. All right, there we go. Really hope this flies. You know, I think we're gonna do these off of control surfaces, so we'll try two different sizes. We got a medium, and we have a small here, so, this is gonna, in theory, make it to where we control the uh, the plane. So, what does a small look like? Oh, wait, that is not small. That's the. It's gotta be the medium. Almost one of those would work on the back. I don't want. Is that too much? I could cut into the wing a little bit. Uh, definitely, I think we're gonna want the mediums. Actually, the smalls on the sides here. All right. So I think. Hold on. Let's go ahead and cut into this. Uh, we'll cut in about like this and we'll see how many of these we're gonna need. I don't know, small doesn't seem very small. I think there's an even smaller one if I want it. But I think we're gonna do it off of these. So maybe one there, and then maybe one more on the inside. Oh, I don't wanna cut that much out. My bad. All right, so let's try maybe something like, something like this. Uh, well I need to, I guess, put these two little blocks in real quick. So let's go boom, boom. Okay, so put that there, and then we'll put these blocks back here. All right, that doesn't look terrible. Uh, let's go ahead, let's cut into the back here. So we need something like that, I believe. And then, will this fit now? No, no. What does it need? Maybe a little bit. It looks like one more on each side. I can cut the whole bottom off. Let me go ahead and cut the bottom off real quick. All right, so I'm gonna need one more control surface. Does this need to be even with the wings? I don't think it really matters here in Stormworks uh, since the aerodynamic model or lack of one uh, shouldn't really make too big of a difference here. So let's see, there should be one more little bitty fin. There we go, a fin rudder here. This should work here on the back. I should probably have one of these. Uh, this is gonna make it where it'll actually climb up and down. So let's go. Should I do two? Maybe I should do two. Yeah, I think two will be okay. All right, so let's go boom. Let's go ahead and cover these up. Uh, we'll go one beyond here. And then this should be okay. All right, so that's the back here. All right, this looks like it might be okay. You know, I need to think about landing gear. I don't think I'm gonna be able to make any that actually fold up, so uh, I'll have to figure out a different way. It'll probably be like a static one, so Anyways, let's see, left, right, uh, we need our AD, which is gonna be this one here. So this needs to go out to the wings. So that'll be A and D. That way we can actually, uh, we can roll the plane. Okay, so we want up and down to be back here. So it's up and down. Let's go hook all these up, okay. And then we need our left and right arrows, which will be these, to go back here. All right, so controls should be in place. Now, one of these is gonna have to be reversed on the wing. Uh, we'll worry about that here in a second. I guess the last thing I should do, let's see, what kind of wheels do we have? Hmm, uh, medium wheel, large landing wheel, probably a small wheel, or we could do this uh, wheel coaster, which I think might be in the back. All right, uh, I think this will work. Okay, so the wheel coaster is gonna go back there. And like I said, I don't know how to do like the folding landing gear, so we'll have our second, or uh, our actual main set up here. Okay, can I do something like that? Does that look goofy? Uh, that looks okay. That's not terrible. All right, so we'll have something like that for the uh, the landing gear. So let's go ahead and spawn it real quick again. See, what does it look like? 
All right. <laughs> it looks a little bit goofy, but uh, let's go and climb up here. So we'll set in here. Let's go and check our controls. So A and D. Okay, so I'm in, one of those is going to need to be reversed. And then let's go and check the back here. Okay, so that works. And then our climbing. Okay, I don't think I have those hooked up to electricity yet. But yeah, it should be able to climb. All right. Well, we are one step closer to probably crashing. Uh, let's crank up. Okay. Give it a little throttle here. Nope. Come on. Come on. Uh-oh. What's going on here? Uh, I'm holding W. Why does it seem like my seat's not responding? I have it hooked up, don't I? I'm making a lot of noob mistakes right now. Hold on. So, does my seat have electricity? Is that what I'm needing right now? Hold on. Let's go electricity. Now, the seat doesn't need it. Well, why are these not sticking the way I want them to? Okay, so I'm having an issue with the seat here. That's great. All right, so we're not firing right now. What could it be? It, hold on. It's exhaust. I think it's actually... Okay, so you do need a tip on that exhaust. Huh. That's a thing. All right. Oh, that's going to poke out now. Uh, I guess I could put the fluid port. That would work. That wouldn't poke out too bad. Oh, let's grab this real quick. I can't turn these, can I? No, it'd have to be something like this. Which, let's just put this on here for the sake of putting it on here real quick, just to make sure we can get this to work. Okay, here we go again. There we go. Oh. Alright, so I guess we're taking off on lift, 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 lift. Uh-oh. 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 That, that's not good. That's not good. It is not lifting. Oh, no! Well, that's about how I thought take one was going to go. All right, so I think we need to tune the engine a little bit. Doesn't seem like we're getting enough power here. All right, Mr. Engine, what can we do to you? Let's see, RPS, max power is all the way up. Should I limit this? What if I turn the limit, like, way up? I think this will help. All right, take two. There we go. Uh-oh. Okay, that might be too much. Hey, look, we're flying. Holy man, this thing works. Uh-oh, wait, what's it doing? Okay, this thing actually uh, rolls a lot better than I thought it would. All right, I have a feeling we're uh, running too much RPS. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, engine just shut off. Uh-oh, uh-uh. -oh. Crank it back up. Did we burn it up already? It didn't explode on us. Wait. Oh, no! <laughs> well, made it a little bit further that time. All right, so we're going to set that to 40. I need to check. I don't hope we, we we didn't run out of fuel that quick did we uh let's see where is the fuel gauge okay so it's gonna be this one and then battery gauge is that all right let me go ahead and label these so we have battery here and we have the fuel gauge on the other side all right so you're gonna notice here once we jump back into the cockpit that i've added a couple more gauges so we have a temperature gauge here and there's your rps there so let's go and fire it back up Okay, so temperatures, okay, come on, there we go. All right, so we backed off it a little bit. Okay, let's look at batteries there, 97 fuel. That's what it is. We do not, oh, we're not carrying enough fuel here, I don't think. All right, so that is an extremely short flight. Look at that. So we burned up the fuel last time. Now, in theory, like, everything's working. Like, everything's working the way it should be, but it definitely needs a lot more fuel. Because we're just burning it like crazy. Uh, I wonder if I can go down on RPS even more now. We might cut it in half and see if that helps. Because, yeah, we're going to go whoop and we're out. So we need, like, one more tank in there at least. And then we need to cut the RPS down. All right. Well, that's a thing. You know, I should probably pack a parachute in here. That way I can hop out of it. You know, I'm actually amazed that we made it this far. <laughs> All right. So definitely next time it's probably going to be easier for us to... Uh, definitely make a custom fuel tank instead of trying a bunch of small tanks i was thinking this was going to be sufficient since it wasn't really big but yeah apparently that's not a thing right now all right let's go and get this down into here is that aiming down let's see i believe it's gonna be all right so i stuffed more tanks there you know we probably should make this thing like a full tank yeah they didn't add much thought we were only at 150 something before hold on let's try this out real quick all right, so I turned the RPS down even more. So I'm going to see if this is enough to get us off the ground. Yeah, it is. Okay. That's not too bad. Okay, what's our fuel burn like? 
Uh, why is that not registering? You know what? It's because it's across several tanks. It's not registering yet. So I probably won't register until it gets to that last tank. So yeah, that's definitely why you need to create a custom tank here, which I think I'll add that next time. Uh, we just wanted to prove that this thing flies. So when this thing starts to go down, that should be our last bit of fuel. Okay. So uh, let's just test out a couple things. Maneuverability. Surprisingly, it's maneuverable. Like, I'm really, really surprised by that. It, it rolls really good, so I can sit there and do a complete roll like this. There we go. We'll get it back. Kind of reminds me of one of those, like, Red Bull stunt planes, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's pitching. It's up and down. Feels great. Uh, how does the y'all feel? Nope, that's plenty fine. Like, if I could just figure out how to retract the landing gear and all that, that would be pretty cool. You know, I should probably change the also the W and S to the up and down and uh, change the throttle to my arrow keys because right now my arrow keys are my up and down. But other than that, that's pretty good. Haunts check. We're using... Okay, so we're using fuel, so we're to our third tank right now. So yeah, definitely custom tank is the way to go because flight time, I'm guessing, is like, what, two minutes maybe right now? Three at the max uh, on this thing. So, man, where else will we tuck away fuel? I've seen, I think, planes tuck away fuel in this game in their wings, which that could be another spot we do it, but I think for the most part, yep, there it goes. I'm pretty happy with this. Like, I'm really happy. I'm happy we got this far. I did not expect this. You know, I guess uh, what we should try next, we should try a jet. See if we can do that. All right, so we got our parachute on, which I've mounted right behind the seat here. All right, it's going to go boom. All right, I've also changed to where I have the arrow keys control the throttle now. You know, I bet you we could use even less RPS as far as this engine, because I still feel like we're fairly fast. Uh, we're not burning it up, but we are burning fuel. All right, so that seems pretty set. Visibility is really good. Obviously, it's an open cockpit. Wouldn't be the safest for the pilot, but uh, I just want to make sure this actually worked. All right. Yeah, also, uh, if you're seeing those down there, those are uh, logic. It's inverters, and it's to make it to where you can actually uh, make the uh, the control surfaces go in opposite directions for, like, say, this here with the rolling. So you'll have one side go up, the other side goes down. Uh, that's about the only bit of logic in the game that I actually know how to work, which I don't even know. I guess it is considered logic. Yeah, I think it is. But, yeah, well, let's go and roll. Let's climb here. Hold on. Let's go full speed, throttle up all the way. Okay, so that is full speed there. Probably need to put some sort of gauge for the uh, for the speed. So there's your temp. It's pegged right around 30, which I guess it's okay. There's your RPS, which is set to 25. We're now burning into the last tank. And then our battery is stable. Like, we don't need any sort of generators. It's at uh, 0.97, and it pretty much stays there. All right, so let's go ahead and climb. We're about to bail out of this thing. Actually, let's try to make it level here. That way when I bail out, I can actually try to walk on the wing or something. There's an island down there, too. That's going to be perfect. Okay, you about to run out. No, it's actually still got a bit of fuel left. Oh, boy. Yeah, we should definitely try a jet next, which that's going to end in probably uh, failure. But, you know, maybe it'll be okay. All right, plane stalling out. Let's go ahead. Mm, okay. Oh, oh, there we go. All right, there we go. We're bailing. I don't know how we're heavier than the plane. And, hold on, where's the... Oh, I see an island right there. So, looks like the wind turbine island. Let's go and open that up there. There we go. Why do we not seem like we're slowing down right now with the parachute? What the heck? Uh, parachute! Parachute! Okay. That's a heck of a way to end the episode. Why did that not work? We weren't carrying that much momentum. Did they break the parachutes? Actually, where'd my plane go? Uh, wait. Wind turbine island. It landed somewhere over there. Uh, nope, I don't see it. Well, I think we pretty much proved that Komodo can build a basic plane. Maybe we'll move on to jets. Maybe we'll just improve this. Really, the main complaint is the fuel situation in it, which we can easily fix by making a custom tank out of the back. Uh, so we'll do that. Uh, but other than that, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, really happy that we got off the ground there. So, anyways, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching, and we will see you guys next time.